a firefighter. I wanted to be a hero. I wanted to run into buildings and save people. But I'm claustrophobic. I have asthma. This is the closest that I get to driving a fire truck. So I settled on a career in psychology. While getting my graduate degree, I volunteered as a crisis responder for the fire department, and that got me introduced to the dispatch department. I sent in my application, and 10 months later, I got hired. And I was back in college. My life consisted of quizzes, binders, and over a 1,000 note cards. I went on vacation. I brought my note cards. I studied all the time. Our dispatch center takes care of fire and medical calls throughout the valley. We cover 20 different fire departments in 27 jurisdictions. It's pretty much all of Maricopa County. As an incident taker, you answer the phone and you get calls from public agencies, from the private sector, and from clients. You need to get information about where their emergency is and you need to get that on the way. Seconds count. From there, it goes to the Channel 1 dispatcher. And they alert the stations by turning on lights and tones. And then the dispatcher reads who needs to go, where they need to go, and what channel they're on. From there, it goes to a tactical radio operator. The radio operator listens to 2 to 12 channels at a time. And they have a screen very similar to this black one. They're responsible for documenting in the call and getting additional resources when they're needed. Every day is different. I get to deliver babies. One day I'm delivering a baby on the side of the road at the I-17 on the phone, and the next minute I'm helping an elderly lady figure out how to change the battery in her smoke detector so the darn thing will just go off. <laughs> you have to be prepared for every type of call. That's why we go through so much training. We hear a lot. We hear a lot of terrible stuff. We hear the screams and cries of mothers when they pull their babies lifeless out of the pools. We hear people take their last breath as they die on the phone when talking to us. This job is not for everybody. You have to have a strong sense of self and good coping skills. I run, I hike, I have awesome animals. I have a family and friends that support me, especially when I need it. And at work, we eat. We eat a lot. <laughs> we cook meals for each other. We watch TV. They encourage us to do things on our downtime because we need normalcy while we're on the job. We celebrate each other. We celebrate promotions, weddings, babies. We come together as a team and buy pink t-shirts when our coworker is diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. And just a little myth that I must dispel, if you're calling from a cell phone, I cannot pinpoint your exact location. I get a circle, OK? So unless you're on a landline, I don't know where that body shop is behind the McDonald's, OK? I learn a lot from my callers, OK? Ear candling is very good for wax buildup and earaches. Putting urine on the stove, boiling it, and pouring it in your ear, not so much. True call, I swear. Okay? Shift work is tough, okay? But you get things like overtime, get to work on holidays, but I also miss birthdays and dinners. I have to have somebody work for me so I can go to my own baby shower. But we're a family and we support each other. This is a picture from a pancake breakfast for Captain Ernie, whose pack of motorcycles was plowed into by a dump truck. We come together and we support each other. That's why our motto is our family helping yours. Okay? We are a family. From dispatch to admin to the firefighters, we are all important parts, and we are all our heroes in our own right. How you can help? Know your location. Please know where you are. <laughs> First aid and CPR saves lives. CPR will almost double or triple your chance of survival from a sudden cardiac arrest. Move right and stop for emergency vehicles. So my challenge to you is if you're interested in the fire department, come start as a volunteer in the crisis response. I'll be outside to help you 
learn how to do that, and who knows, I might get to initiate, no wait, welcome you into dispatch.